What's up? We're back. Episode Dose. That's right. We're here because we're not all there. We're doing something interesting today. I'm kind of excited. Uh, we're here joined by my lovable father, who's also a renowned chef, Chef Robert Rosario. But interestingly enough, would it be fair to say that one of your specialties as a chef is seafood? Yes. 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 Seafood. My favorite yeah. protein, seafood. Uh, interestingly enough, despite the fact that I'm 50% him, I hate seafood. I'm not a fan. Uh, but I told him I want to change that. I'm, try I'm trying to change how I eat, trying to be more of a, an experienced food. I don't know where I'm going Adve with this. Adventurous, Adventurous eater. Adventurous eater, there you go. So uh, I'm on my Bourdain mode, and I said we're going to go fucking seafood today. And not only that, I want to learn how to throw down. I want to learn some fucking knife skills. I want to learn how All to right. look good behind a pan. So that's what we're doing today. What are we making? Okay, today we're going to make some pan-seared cod. All right, and that is the technique, pan searing, and we're gonna make some sauteed spinach and garlic. Mm -hmm. And that's the deal for today. What do we got today? What are we using? We're using lemons. Lemons, garlic, cod, <clears throat> olive oil, a little bit of white wine, some Italian seasonings. Of course, you can season this any way you want, whatever, whatever seasonings you would like, but definitely get some salt and pepper on there. And I've got some Italian seasonings for today, so <clears throat> well, well, go ahead, bro. And I was just going to say, before we get started, as always, those are the ingredients right there. You can go ahead and check them out. That's exactly what we're using in all the portions. Make sure to go ahead and drop a subscribe. And are you ready to, to, to get fishy with this? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we want to prepare, <clears throat> get our mise en place together. That means everything in this place. Mise so although place. we're not going to put garlic on the fish, we want to have this prepared so when the spinach goes next, this is a really quick meal, maybe 10 minutes to cook everything so you want to have everything ready so when the fish come out in the same pan you can cook the garlic all right uh -huh. so <clears throat> what we're going to do is mince some garlic you want to be careful <clears throat> okay it's already come came peeled so what i like to do is i like to hold it there put the knife my blade on it all right and then smash it down okay what would you want to do move your hand back so then you'll always be flat here you won't be able to do that because oh, so you're on right here bring it bring your hand back here Bring it there. Oh, I see. It's easy, right? Now you get flat there, right? So now it's easier to handle, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's easier to handle Much now. Much flatter now. It's not going to go anywhere, right? It's a safe, it's a safe, uh, safe ingredient. Oh, that's why they do it. Yeah. So the heavier, you're not cutting a round oblong. Right, vegetable. right. Sometimes you have to cut them because you know you want to do them in slice, but right, we're not so. slicing them. So after you do that, you want to use the back of your knife. That's called the heel of your knife, right? And you want to use this hand like this. This is going to be your, uh, this is your cutting hand and this is your guiding hand. So you're going to put the back of your knife here. You're going to put all your fingers in together and this is what you're going to do. Okay, use the back of the knife, like yeah. the, that part of the knife, uh, okay, coming down you. that way, okay? So. Until you feel comfortable. Yeah, that's right, keep your fingers away from there. Great, that's a great job. Yeah, bring it back. You could you could change the angle of your body too. Look at me changing the angle of my body. I'm crazy with it. All right, you don't have to get fast on me, man. No, you doing you. I'm gonna cook mine, and you you know you're gonna do yours. It's crazy. Is this mint and garlic? That yes, that's mean? what. I it's... can feel the mints. It's crazy. That's good. That look that looks great. <laughs> look at me go. Do I just have it in me? Is that a thing? Every once in a while, just go like this. Clean your knife off carefully. Don't put your fingers on the cutting edge. And with your knife, bring those items together. Beautiful. Not great, bad. Great job. Great well, job what man. would I get in your class for that? For that, uh, for first time like that, I'll give you like a like a five. Out of? Out of 10, I'll give you five. I'll give you five. Take All right. Go ahead and save that. So this part of your mise en place is ready to go. OK, so cod is the fish we're going to use tonight. That's one of the, uh, the type of fish. You got it here, you want to keep it in the refrigerator? Oh my God. All right, it's uh, it's it's cod night, so it's the plate is fish themed. God damn. Oh, cha cha! <laughs> uh, you pick it up at your fishmonger, ask him to take the pin bones out. There's some sharp bones inside there. And then, you know, you want to you wanna finish, you want to fabricate it, right? To the size that you want to do it, to the size of your pan, or the size that you're serving in your restaurant that, that night or in your house, okay? And you're going to do that. So you want to take this out. This is the belly of the fish, the bottom portion, right? This is really thin. This is going to either render itself in the oil or burn, all right? So what we want to do is we want to remove this. Now, this is what we want to save, this portion, okay? Uh -huh. That's really what we want. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. 
Let me start you off, okay? I'm gonna go up around here, and you're gonna follow the shape of this. Okay, that's really sharp, so be careful. Watch your guiding hand. Use the tip of your knife. You got more control, right? Yeah. Good job, kid. Look out, Bobby the fishmonger. All right, put your knife down, and let's see what you did. Pretty cool. All right, don't throw this out. This is good. You can keep this for stock. Uh, for whatever you want to do, you know. You can throw it at the kids in your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're not going to use this. Obviously, this is a large, large portion. You want to cut this in half, right? So I'd say we go maybe like that. Fair to say? Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to, like I said, fabricate it, make it look, make it look nicer. All right, so you have a, a nice presentation. So that's pretty good. I'm going to take this, put this on the side. Now what we want to do is we want to season it. So <clears throat> we'll take some, take some salt and pepper. The classics. And uh, again, I'll do mine, you do yours. You grab me a little bit of salt here. Wait, like a pinch? Yeah, a pinch. You control it. Keep it high, right? The higher it is, the more you can control it. If you're down low, perfect. That's really nice. All right? A little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of black pepper. I feel like okay. salt. And man. here's an Italian season, man. Italian blend. You got some basil, some thyme, <clears throat> rosemary, parsley in there. So I'm gonna take that out a little bit. It's like the Hall and Oats song. Ah. All right, give it a little pat. All right, turn around. Oh, nice you gotta season both sides, right? You don't want just one side of the fish tasting delicious. So it's a competition now, right? Uh huh? It's a competition now? <laughs> Don't do that to me, man. Yeah, yeah, he is. Well, when we get when we get down over there, he's on his own. We both start at the same time. I'm not gonna give him a food demo. I didn't. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, bro. Literally beat Bobby Flay, but you know. Hey, beat Bobby Flay. Rosario. Yeah. Stop it with the Flay jokes. I've heard that all my life. That's why they call me Chef Rob and not Chef Bobby. Everybody call me Bobby Flay. I had to find myself. All right, so that's pretty much done. Okay. Good, brother. I'm just seasoning my, my cod, bro. Okay, cool. So for this, our amazing process is going to be some lemon. Okay, go ahead, grab a piece of bounty. It's a paper towel. They don't, we don't, we don't have the bounty sponsor. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. So this is called the cheek, a lemon cheek, and this you're going to use to hit your protein while you're cooking it to flavor. Okay. Take another piece here for myself. So we're cheeked up right now. So cheek to cheek, brother. All right. Each of us has a tablespoon of butter. That's how many pots you got your lemon, right? Salt and pepper, it's already seasoned, so we don't have to worry about it. Come on now. Okay, I want you to remember one thing. The difference between failure and success is here is controlling the heat. So in order to control the heat, you gotta move it and watch it. You're good, you're good here. That's like about a, a high medium. We're gonna bring you down to about there, to a low medium. So that's a low medium? Okay, just I need a visual guy. Like that. That's why I'm saying the, only the chef will know that. Sometimes people say, I'll tell somebody, lower the flame, and they'll lower it without even looking. They don't know. All of these gauges are different. They got play on them and stuff like that. So we're going to let this get warm. The first thing we're going to do is put olive oil. But we're also going to put butter. Okay, they're going to work together so one doesn't burn. We don't want the olive oil to burn. It has a high smoke point. And we don't want the, the milk solids and the, and the butter to burn. So let's get that warm. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in. You go ahead and put yours in. That's good, that's good amount, all right? Let's move this away from here. You wanna keep that up there. Get hot enough, it'll not. So, you know, move it around a little bit there. Keep it on the, yeah, put it back slower, all right? Okay, so when this goes down, the trick is not to move it. It has to stay down for three minutes without moving it. If you do it, you will break the sear. It won't, it won't have that nice crust. I know how you love crust. You're crusty. I'm a crusty man. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna wait for that to get a little bit warm. We wanna kinda see a little bit of smoke come off of that. Here we are. You're gonna pick up, this is yours, the thick one. Got it. Okay, uh, you're gonna pick that up. Oh yeah, mine's just ready to go. Let me see, yours is ready to go. So watch this, okay? I'm gonna lift mine up. I'm always gonna put this facing that way so it don't splash on me. Oh, that's a satisfying sound right there. Okay. Can I do that? Yes, you can do it, okay? You want to grab it? Oh, you can put this side. Let me see. 
Here you go. This side down. The skin side up, that side down. Put this side down. Yeah. Don't touch it. Three minutes. Three minutes. Don't touch it. All right. So look, come here. We want to move this around. Make sure the oil gets in there. On it. We're not moving it. Three minutes. Okay, we're not moving. I'm, I'm just checking the time. It's 9.33. We're going to give it to like 9.35 without touching it. Man, what do you want to do for three minutes? Uh, get the, get the, the, the spinning tray. Uh, I thought look. you were going to be like ride a bike or something. That'd oh, be... no. We, we, you know, we could go fishing again. This is the fishing. That would have been way more fun to edit in than <laughs> yeah. the show. Spinach is going to turn to nothing. This entire bag is going to be like two servings. Yeah, so you spinach. put a lot in. So a lot of it is going to go in. So again, we want to put down some uh, olive oil. And now we're going to put the garlic in this. All right. And then we're going to saute the garlic maybe a minute or two just to get it translucent. Then we're gonna throw this baby in there. Some salt, some pepper. You're gonna move it around. You move it around with the tongs, turn it and stuff, and you'll see it break down smaller and smaller. And that's the objective, to get it to wilt. This is an offset spatula, right? It's offset to help you to pick it up so you don't destroy the a skin. A fish spatula. A fish, uh, yes, and so it's perforated. So I'm gonna check mine, right? Come here. You don't wanna force the fish up if it doesn't, Come up. If it doesn't come out, it's not ready. Got it. I'm not touching yours. You already know. I'm afraid. This is so delicate. This shit is hard. Okay, I'm coming up on mine. I watched like half of Julie and Julia the other day and I thought I could do this. Now mine is ready. Yours is a little thicker. Alright. So let's bring up your heat a little bit. Okay. You wanna move that oil around? I gotta jump on this, and this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in. All right? Mine isn't ready yet. It hasn't come off. It's still sticking. Yes, it is. Gotta give it more time. Give it that time. Keep moving the oil around like this, and letting the oil cook it on the bottom. All right, here's my little El Spuno. So when it's cooking, when you finally turn yours around, this is what you wanna do. You wanna baste it. Oh, that looks professional as hell. That's called a butter based. Right. I want to get in on the butter based action. You can do this with steak, bro. Steak and some rosemary and garlic. Killing it, kid. Killing it. Yeah, mine, is, mine is stuck to this All fucking right. pan. Let's check it out. So much for being gentle with them. Mm -hmm. It might not have come off, okay? I'm going to turn it for you. Okay. Okay. Not that bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, get your butter. Don't touch it. Grab the butter. Here you go, baby. Just drop it in, right? Yeah. That's mine. What you got? Yeah. What you got? There you go. Oh, look at me go, baby. <laughs> Lean it towards you. Lean it towards you, yeah. Beautiful, bro. You got it, man. I she picked up that technique pretty quick. Wow, that looks delicious already. So me, I usually go ahead and touch the fish, and I, that's the way I know whether it's done or not. My fish, I like it cooked medium rare. I like it a little tight on the outside, soft inside. All right, pretty much there. Take them out, let them rest for a moment whenever you're ready. All right, that's pretty damn good, kiddo. Proud of you. We're gonna save this, gonna put it on the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move out. We're gonna change pans, cause, right, spinach is ready. So while this is sitting down, resting, we're gonna bang out the spinach. So here you go. You're ready to go, brother. We're gonna wait that for that to get hot. Grab some oil, where's your, to your left, baby. All right, put some oil in there. You wanna put some, a substantial amount. We good there, we good there. All right, get your garlic. The garlic. Oh, garlic. That, was, that was from the beginning of the episode. I forgot hey, about no, it. It was like a callback. Whoa, I totally forgot we did this. All right, uh, that goes in the, what is this, a pot pan? It's like a pot pan? This is a... A patan? <laughs> it's a saucepan, brother. It's a, a heavy bottom saucepan, right? It's got, a, it's got a little bit more metal on the bottom. Extra layer there. Heavy duty saucepan. All right, we're just moving this garlic around. Moving the garlic around a big saucepan. If 
all, I feel like I'm like gonna make gumbo in this. Thing. Yeah. So you want to watch it, right? When the garlic starts getting a little dark like that. Yeah, I see. You want to go ahead and lower. Let's look. Look where your flame is at. You gotta bring this down, baby. So go ahead. You know the deal. Put the entire thing inside. Oh, that burned me. It was burning. What? The fuck? Ow. Oh, look at us. Oh, open the bag, bro. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Keep it in the pack, keep it in the pack. Just threw a fucking garden on the stove. Yeah, that burnt me. Wow. Welcome to the club. My first burn. Okay, so we wanted some salt and pepper. Okay, let's put some salt. Let's not be afraid. Okay, get some salt in there. All right, you want to grab that and stop moving those things around. Man, this makes me feel like, uh, I don't know, this makes me feel like I'm living in like the countryside in a very old time, <laughs> like making food okay. for the whole community. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Let me do this. Do this. All right, look at the bottom. It's braised. That's oh, what you want. You don't want that that garlic to start burning like that. All right, so you want it to, and you see it's wilting as you go. Help you out a little bit here. Oh, that smells really good. Sometimes people will use a little chicken stock. I like a little bit of white wine. Don't overdo it with the wine either. Right? Uh, the alcohol will burn out. You're almost there, bro. Okay, I'm gonna reach through here and grab you. All right, turn your flame off. And now it's time to plate up. So what you want to do is you want to take a little bit of this, you want to make a little bed of it in there. A bed? Yeah, a bed of that. You know, like you're going to put the fish on top of it. Try to keep it in the middle. Okay, that's good. That's good. You don't, oh, go ahead. No, more. Come on. You have to trust me. The vision is there. But I'm, I'm used to working with, like, video and not Get in spinach here. and Get in cod. Here. Okay. What kind of cod is this? It's like cod. Alaskan cod? No, it's just it's just cod. It's from from the cod family. It's like haddock, pollock, ling, whiting. All right, now go ahead and grab your your fish. Can I grab it with the tongue? Yeah, easily, easily. Get your little lemon. Look at that. Go. Little lemon, right on top of it. Beautiful. Let's go. All right, you it, you it, brother. Oh, I made that. Are you impressed, Dylan, or you can be honest? Cause I'm kind of impressed at the moment. Did you just not? Yeah. That was cool. Look at you, little innovator. How did I do this? Look at that. I don't. I feel like I left my body for 15 minutes <laughs> and watched somebody just pilot me do some shit. I feel like the rat from Ratatouille. That's what oh, I feel like. Oh, what's his name? Or maybe again? no. I feel like the redhead from Ratatouille. And you're oh. the rat. Oh ah. shit! This is crazy. Remy the rat. All right. Okay, so uh, first of all, the presentation is fucking spot on, man. Thank you. Look spot at that bed of spinach. Spot on. It I could fall really asleep good. on that. <laughs> That's good. Really nice. Uh, really nice crust. Really nice sear there. That's great. It looks. It looks really firm, man. It looks 100. percent All right. Uh, remember, this can also be done with skin on too. It'll be also super crispy. You can do this with salmon. You can do this with pollock. With haddock, with whiting, with lean. They're all come from the same family. Uh, Are those firm all flesh. Fish? Yeah, they're all fish. They're firm fleshed white fish, sweet, succulent. Up until succulent. Now, I like that up word. Until now, That's my favorite just, culinary way. Up until now, it was just fish. It was just fish. If they were in the ocean, they were fish. You know, it's a good yeah. diet, a, a pescatarian diet, meaning they all you eat is consume fish, is fish yes. things from the sea. All right, so let's go. I want to, I'm going to go ahead and taste one. I eat this. You just uh, take Yeah, away. you just want to take a little. Let's taste the fish first. All right. Oh, mine's just breaking apart here. That's what it's supposed to do, flake. I want to get a little bit of everything, though. All right. Not bad. Let me see. Not too shabby. I mean, I feel like yours is probably more flavorful. No, because we we seasoned them together. Good go. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ay, ay, ay. Yours looks like eatable, you know what I mean? This is this is delicious, Robert. I just destroyed that, bro. Good. I like yours better. Yours feels like it got more of the butter. All right, so now the spinach. Okay, so a little bit of salt, pepper, the garlic. All right. 
I can pick it up, that'd be nice. Look at him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You gonna well. stab me with the fork now? Well, bro, I can move it right there. I got it. Mm. You You're not tasting nothing yet. Do you eat the... All right, oh, look. There, there you go. I thought you were Popeye. You were singing Popeye's. But Dylan, come on over here. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> All right. Let me get, let's get you a clean fork. Fork that about it. All right, go ahead. What do you think about that, Dylan? Let's go. This is Bobby's, right? This is... Dylan lived on an island. I did that. Mm -hmm. Solid, right? You did that. Yeah. Get some of that spin. Spin? Some of that. Get some spin. fish, man. Get some for real fish, man. Get a piece there. Get that. How you gonna taste something like that? Gotta get a good that mouth feel. That mouth feel. With stuff. It just makes me want to do like a shellfish episode. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we should do a lobster episode. Oh, lobster fish. boil. Mm, I think that has good flavor. Then that's what it's called. It. That's the garlic mix in there. Yeah. You know? Then I simply nailed it. Killed it, mijo. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, this was a fun one. This is a fun quickie. Was eat more, eat more. You Delicious. Uh, yes. Let me go get a, a good chunk of this. And to be the professional that I am, I will sign off. This is the best part of this of this show. I'll sign off while I'm eating the fish. <laughs> she was loud. Did you <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Chef's Son episode two. It has been a fishy one. Dylan, close your legs. And uh, we will be back Why? for episode three where, uh, I don't know, things might get a little spooky, perhaps. Oh, maybe a Halloween episode coming up for y'all guys. So we'll see y'all until then. Uh, All right, thank you so much for uh, tuning in, subscribing. We really appreciate it, man. Yeah, go, really uh, go catch a fish. <laughs>